That's kind of annoying how you have to constantly go in and out of the book. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. But it's tight because we need the poo. Oh, that's right. We are going to be seeing Rabbit here. Oh, shit. Hide your BDSM items, kid. <laughs> Rabbit's a freak. A real freak. Like, the freakiest freak. What up, bitch? I ride on balloons. What's this shitty ass cottage? <laughs> Man, fuck this gay shit. <laughs> yeah. Fuck your shitty cottage, you stupid fucking donkey. Ew, <laughs> I own this town. Are you okay? Gosh, Is Winnie the Pooh the, the, suddenly the, the head of the mafia as all of a sudden? <laughs> He's such a fucking asshole. <laughs> He's just like, I'm just gonna float down right on top of your house and destroy it. No bother's given. We are just telling it, telling how Winnie the Pooh really is. The fact that they're hiding it for the kids. Well, I mean, Eeyore's the drug dealer, so... Is that why he's depressed all the time? Yeah. Because no one wants to buy his drugs? And so he takes them himself, and then he gets sad when the and the rush is over. I love how the fuck Eeyore is. Do you remember your friend Eeyore, right, Pooh? It's okay. After I die, everyone will forget me. Wow, Eeyore. You already set an example to the kids. <laughs> remember, kids. In the end, it doesn't even matter. Everyone will be I forgetting you. Lincoln Park. First we gotta find some honey. Oh, now they get the stupid idea that making Pooh eating honey regain all his memories. When you, what you really need is cards. <laughs> what you really need is to not feed that fat asshole anymore. <laughs> you know, where you going, punk? Get back here. <laughs> I fucked up your house and now you're going down too. And uh, again, I'm like, man, fuck these guys. I'm gonna look for treasures. Oh man, I wonder if that shiny crown thing is the treasure. Nailed it. Um. Oh, that's right. I was. Uh, so. Uh, uh, Equip your items. Yeah, I was equipping my favorite keyblade. And checking out what new item it was. Which I think is drawing. Isn't that the drawing you get uh, in that place? I think so. Either that or the lucky lucky ring. No, I think it's draw. This is one of those. Oh shit, here's rabbit dog. Ah, uh, no one left. I find my BDSM collections over here. Ah, my chains and rips are safe for another day. <laughs> so look at that white ass bitch. Speed shadow, and steal all this stuff. Wow, look at that. How yummy for my tummy. But doesn't that honey belong to someone? Yo, you fucking lied. There ain't no honey over here. This is chains. Who the fuck would eat chains? Apparently, I would. <laughs> that motherfucker. No self esteem, no regard for anyone else. <laughs> yeah, Pooh is a little bit of an asshole. Just that. Just that they made it so friendly that the kids does not recognize it until two people like us are like. Make, making fun of it. <laughs> he fucking lets Piglet fly off into the fucking. <laughs> Death trap tornadoes, falls on top of Eeyore's house and destroys it, eats all of Rabbit's honey. Pooh's a prick. Kids, don't be like Pooh. Kids, being Pooh is number two. Oh, that's right. I uh, did the same thing here as I did uh, with the picket flying thing and just eating, watching your Pooh eating. <laughs> Yo, this shit's mad good. <laughs> oh, where you get this wrong? Girls so great. 
Those noises are so gross. Seriously, I want to cut open that bear and see where the, all the honey goes. He's like Kirby, he's just a bottomless pit. Wouldn't this also mean that if he like ate piglets or something, he would gain its form? <laughs> you know what? If anyone out there knows how to mod games, mod a Kirby game so that Pooh's the main protagonist. Yes, do that. Okay, yeah, if Pooh ate Piglet, it would be Piglet to Pooh. It'd be Pooglet. Or we need a pig. <laughs> we need a pig. <laughs> I think a more appropriate name would be KILL ME! I could totally yeah, see him saying that when with Sora standing over him and be like, experiment. Sora's just standing over him going, the operation was a success! And then we have Dr. Stein standing behind him. <laughs> Turning his little screw head, just like, fabulous. I wonder who it would be if we actually had a Soul Eater world. Uh, in uh, Kingdom Hearts. That'd be awesome as hell. Imagine Sora meeting Kid. I think that'd be the funniest thing in the world. I mean, he, I think he would, like, be mad at Sora's hair because he is in the Sumiko. <laughs> I was just thinking that. It was like, they're taking out the system and be like, we need to cut it. Your clothes and your hair. Too many zippers. <laughs> oh, that's right. We can pick up Gober and uh, have him like, "Yo, what's up? You're gonna die if we crash." Gober's the lame. Don't worry, I won't kill you, boss. Sad thing is, we um, lose him when we go into another segment. What the hell do they do with him? Do they like? Nah, we don't need you in this segment. Fuck off. Gopher just sort of decided, eh, screw this, I'm gonna go kill Owl again. Oh, <laughs> there he disappeared. Oh, there he is. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Gopher, you're so useless. Ah, the fucking snowball of doom. And then they died, the end. If that were true. If well, that were true, this would have been a really short game. <laughs> Yeah, the Keyblade Master died inside a book which no one would read ever again. <laughs> I can imagine, like, Maleficent just saying, they going like, wait, 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 wait. The Keyblade Master just sort of died, yeah? In the Winnie the Pooh world, <laughs> yeah? Fucking imagine, and then like, see an order and some and all that. So, like, none of us could, none of my reincarnation could defeat him and all that. But he gets killed inside a book? <laughs> by a, by a bear? And they'd be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. We couldn't kill him before. But he goes into a book and smashes his face into a fucking rock. And that offs him. What in the world has gotten into Pooh Bear? Whatever it is. Uh, we always knew that Winnie the Pooh would be the death of him. You know, Rabbit, I don't think it's what's gotten into him. I think what's got out of him is the problem here. <laughs> Nothing's coming out of him. Except his memories. Oh, that's right. We need to go to the Castle Oblivion, anyone? I'm bringing the book with me. Wait, what would happen if Sora went back to Castle Oblivion again? Uh, <coughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he'd lose his memory again. Oh yeah, like Ventus is gonna be a dick and be like, yeah, I'm gonna steal your memories, because I can. Who? <laughs> 
Yeah, I call you Rabbit. I also remember all your toys. Can we play with them? He's like, you called me Rabbit! Well, no shit, you're a fucking rabbit. <laughs> what am I gonna call you, Elephant? You want me to call you Tigger? <laughs> call him that and you're dead! I think we're gonna meet him uh, in the next uh, page here. I think so. God damn, Tigger is like a fucking drugged up tiger. The wonderful thing about Tigger is that we all do cocaine! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh. get me my fix. <laughs> oh yeah, Roo, give me my fix. E Eeyore doesn't have any. Take your mama said not to give you any. I don't give a fuck what your slutty mom said. <laughs> give me the nose, Candy. You wanna know who your father is? Then give me the cane. Give me the cocaine. You know who your daddy is? Me! I raped your mom! She a hoe! Give me the nose, kid! <laughs>